what's this? Geomantic Treaties 1. Oh! So this will allow you to train runic boulder and stone armor. Fantastic. So I read the tome, and it's going to teach me these things. Um... I don't know if you can sell this. Yeah, you can. So one of the things about this game that's really cool is there's really no classes. Like, you set a, a starting background, but I now learn these spells. And if I go into my skills and I go into um, Geomancy, you'll see that I can actually, with when I level up and get an ability point, I could just learn Runic Boulder or Stone Armor if I wanted to um, and just add those to my kit. Now, my stats probably aren't going to accommodate me doing this very well, but it means you can kind of have, you know, um, a more hybrid type character if you're interested. I like that a lot. Uh, so that's great. And that book's going to sell for a ton. Um, we can bust up these barrels. So let's do that. Let's just kind of put this flail on for a moment and just break this. And any other barrels that we want to bust up? Yeah, break these barrels. It's interesting because um, I'm holding Alt to like select what's on the screen, and you'll see that the the items that you can interact with, like the cupboards, are highlighted. But then this barrel, which you can break with your weapon, does not highlight as an interactable. So you kind of have to manually just go over there and break it. And I got um oh. So this is another thing that can happen in the game, which is I got a positive state. So I'm feeling optimistic, which means I get a boost to fortitude, morale, psionic resistance, and I get more experience. So that's terrific. Um, so let's just go around and break all of the stuff. Anything that's outlined in red, I'm just going to go around and do that with this flail that I don't really care about. Um, anything in here I want to break? No, not... Yeah, this barrel right here. Break that. Break that box. Whatever. Break all of it. It could be good. I don't know. I'm going to break it. I'm not going to mess with that pressure plate. It's great, Mr. Snackman. I feel like a Ghostbuster surging after doing extensive property damage. Ooh, okay. Here's some food. Beets and potatoes. Okay, great. All right, and I'm going to get my sword back out just in case there's some riffraff down here that we have to contend with. And I'm going to just search for traps. The examined surroundings is actually pretty incredible because it says it's a guaranteed to reveal hidden traps within vision. So as long as you're doing this, if it's within your vision, you will reveal the trap like this one right here. Now, I'm not going to be able to disarm it probably, but I can see it, which is very helpful. I'm going to switch to my crossbow, and it's already loaded. And I'm just going to make sure there's no baddies. All right. I don't see any baddies. I see a bookcase, which is like, I'm immediately intrigued, but I got to make sure there's nothing. I don't see any of those question marks around, which are kind of some kind of visual indicator of a baddie. Uh, I'm going to sense surroundings. There's a trap over here. Here's a baddie down here. He's well out of range of my crossbow. Um, oh, no, there's another one down there. All right, I have to run away. So one of the things you can do is try and not attract too many enemies at once. Unfortunately, I have attracted two. So there's this poacher who is hostile. He sees us, and he has a bow. And then there's, like, just an enforcer down here. I want to see if I can get this guy to step on the trap. Let's see what happens. Yeah, exactly. So, Filthy's talking about it. Hey, Lance, what's up, my friend? Good evening. Good to see you. I am giddy. Look at me. I'm optimistic. I've got the the comedy mask on right now. All right, let's see if this guy will step on the trap. Oh, he did, and he got wrecked by it. He, he is down to 44% health. He's losing blood. All right, that's great. I hate to cheer for another human being's demise, you know, so readily, but it's just... Yeah, yeah, th that's Stone Shard, baby, you know? So, we located the trap, and then we just cowardly 
like the brave Sir Robin, were running away, drawing the enemies back, and just letting them... Oh, God, he, he just got wrecked outright. Yeah, I guess you're right, you know. He's probably hunting some endangered rhinoceros, and we want to take him down. Now, I will say, I did not get experience for that, so it's like, he's dead, which is great for our survival chance, but we did not get the experience for killing him, but honestly, they don't give you that much. Um, I'm going to see if his buddy's going to step on that. I'm just going to um, just stand there and do nothing. And, oh, he disarmed it. He disarmed a trap. He was like, no, I, I will not be caught in that trap. All right, and let's see. It feels like that, Filthy. I mean, it feels like 30... They give you like 35 experience, which when you're level 1, that's actually a considerable amount. But right now, you know... 10% of the experience I need to level up is 100. You know, 5% is 50. So it's it's like 3.5%. It's okay, but it's not huge. I'd rather survive. All right, so I'm going to shoot this guy. Oh, God, yes. That was a good shot. Reload it. Blast him. Oh, no. Reload it. Blast him. All right, good. Switch weapons. And this guy is already down 60%. That would be funny, Snack, if his corpse, like, got into the machinery of the trap and jammed it. That all depends, Snack, on the quality of the trap maker. You know, like, is this a, a very elaborate trap made by an art, like an artisan trap maker where petty trifles like human bones and sinew won't impede the mechanism? Or is this like, you know, amateur, you know, kind of jury rig? trap with some like duct tape looks like a pretty good trap to me all right i'm gonna give him seize the initiative yeah i think you're probably right if these goons are behind it amateur hour indeed and we're gonna chop this guy's almost dead he's actually getting good hits on me until he wasn't all right, so we took some we took some hits. I got 37 experience from that guy. Pick up his actually his scythe is garbage. I'm not going to pick it up. I will sort my inventory though. Um, I need to move away from this and rest. So I'm going to kind of go back here and I'm going to close the door and look. I'm going to examine my injuries. Took a blow to the head there. I guess that's not ideal. I'm just going to push R to rest it up. See if we can get our health back. And currently our health is is capped a little bit. Uh, let me look at my hunger. My hunger is fine. I might take a drink of my water. That's good. Alright. And I'm down 10% health. Because of the damage to my head. Now I could um, use my medicine kit. To treat the injury or I could use my splint to be honest but it seems excessive like it's not that hurt and usually if you rest for a little bit this will start to heal like if I push R to rest yeah you see how I already went up to 91 the the injury will treat itself over time to a degree so this is not like a huge emergency so I'm not going to mess with that I'm going to go around here I'm going to switch to my crossbow I'm going to reload it and I'm going to, uh, by the way, if the developer is watching the stream right now, which I can only expect, of course, they would be doing that. One thing I would love um, would be able to map a key to reloading the crossbow. I mean, at least there might be that in the game. I couldn't find it in the controls. The only thing I can find to do is to right click my character and then click reload. It's fine, um, but I use the keys for a lot of stuff. So if I could just kind of like, hotkey that in some capacity that'd be that'd be just swell 
Um, anyway, uh, let's see some bolts down here. Okay. Uh, reinforced club. I'm going to look for traps again. I don't see anything. There's a peasant's bow. Let me just make sure there's nobody who wants to, like, come around the corner. I found that pressure plate. No other guys over here. And let's just go down here, look for traps. I don't see any traps. Before I start going crazy and looting this room, which I really want to do, I need to be responsible and look for traps and just other jerks. I'm already up to 94 out of 100 health. There's a candle, or a torch rather, lit, which seems to indicate that there be dudes over here. Um, but I'm going to go back this way, look. Hey, Rua. Good evening, my friend. Good to see you. It's going great. This game is really, really good. It's got a very complicated injury system. Oh, here's a jerk. Darn. Um, I'm only going to get one shot on this guy. Ooh, but we made it count. Oh, what's he doing? He becomes hostile. I like how he wasn't hostile before. That's kind of funny. Um, can I... I can't really lead him to the trap very successfully. I'm just going to switch over and just kind of wait for him. And we will seize the initiative. And I will just slice him up. Uh, and I counterattacked and hit his arm. He's mildly injured. And by mildly injured, we're going to say he has 10% of his overall health. And we'll just hit him. All right, he's dead now. He got a hit on us, which I don't like. He's saying, God, look at this. This is how sinister this game gets. Look in the, the text log. It says, um, the goon says, he help, as he's killed. That makes you feel really good. I'm going to sleep really badly after that. All right, anyway, speaking of sleeping badly, I should probably rest. Let's go over here. I'm going to actually go back a little bit further. I don't know, want anybody to lurk out from one of these corridors. I, I'm actually not that hurt. That's pretty good. Okay. And let's go ahead and check this bookshelf. I've been wanting to do it for so long. And there's a hourglass, which is just some kind of valuable item. Seems valuable. All right. And let's check this. Nothing there. Um, okay. And I do want to check over here. Now, it says I avoided the trap. And I don't know if that's because there was only one tile for me to walk on to get back here. And I just avoided walking on the trap because I knew that it was there. I hope that's the case. I don't know how the pathing works. I don't know if the pathing automatically will avoid a trap. I probably should have just, instead of click to move, just used the arrow keys to be careful in that situation. I think I'll do that in the future when I'm not being foolish. All right, will we get anything good? Nothing. Is nothing good? Can be. All right, let's see. Let's look around here and break that. Nothing on that one. Just walking down here and breaking stuff. This is the life of a mercenary, just smashing things. All right, let's look down here into this little chamber. No traps, but there is a cupboard with some straw. People actually will buy that. You can make fires, I think, with it. I don't really need it right now. All right, I'm going to switch over to my crossbow. I'm going to reload, and then I'm also going to uh, go into my inventory and put my sword on to that flail and check down here. What do you guys got for us, huh? Barrels. Okay. Oh, there's a guy. I saw him. Uh, let me get my crossbow out. I know I saw you, dude. Man, don't be trying to be sneaky. Now, oh, he didn't see us at first. So let's kind of... Um, oh, no, no. There's more than one. Oh, that was dumb. All right, reload. That was the bad way to do that. All right, let's see what happens if I... See how these guys respond to a closed door. I'm sure they'll be completely stymied by this. All right, they were not. He opened it instantly. All right. 
That missed. All right, reload. Good shot. Reload. Oh, my God. One more shot. Actually, no more shots. I got to switch. All right, we're going to expertise this guy. Oh, he hit us. Eat, eat this cur, and now he's running for his life. All right, let's go ahead and... Oh, don't unload it. Reload it. Whoops. That was funny. Unload. Oh, man. This guy made it. He survived my crossbow shot. Oh, he did not survive that one. That was 37 experience. Well learned. All right. Let's see if his buddy is actually coming or... The other guy, like, I know he saw that, but he's just standing at distance. He's like, I'm not even messing with it. That's fine. You know, you don't have to. All right, I'm going to get these bolts. Uh, I want the rest of the bolts, yeah. Okay. I'm going to switch back to my crossbow. I like how I'm feeling optimistic. Like, things are going great. I've killed many people. All right, so here's a dude over here. This is the same guy that we saw before. So I'm going to just try to alert him solo. Uh oh god, that didn't go well. Hand over your gold, he says. No. All right, I'm going to run. I'm going to try to run this guy over here and just fight him by himself if that's possible. Doesn't look very possible. I'm going to reload, switch, and seize the initiative. And then slice him. And then shield slam him. And he counter... Yeah, the, the cool thing about using a shield with this character is I, I counter-strike quite frequently, and the seize the initiative boosts my ability to counter-strike. So... I get that counter hit in quite a lot. I'm going to move back and rest. My health is not ideal. There we go. Let's check our health, by the way. Hunger, 11%. Not bad. Morale is good. Sanity, good. Maladies, none. Head still is in bad shape. I'm going to use my healing salve on my head. And you see, it healed it so successfully that we're like up to having 96% of our health. Now we're at 97 out of 100 health, so that's very, very strong. Um, I'm gonna switch back to my crossbow, and it's loaded. I know there's another dude down here. So let's try to take this guy out. Who is this guy? He's a rebel. Even the meekest of folk may take up arms when faced by poverty and the prospect of hungry death. Again, this game is so hilarious. They're just throwing it in my face. They're like, this guy was faced with poverty, so his only choice was to join up with the brigands. And now you get to kill him. I'm a real hero. Oh, God, I'm... I'm actually... That was a, a nice display of how not to fight. Ooh! Oh, he has a reach weapon. Ooh, God, that's painful. The rebel! Reach weapon! All right, there's a guy down here. I'm actually going to walk this guy far away from this. I don't want the din of our fight to attract any unwelcome attention. And any attention at all is unwelcome. So I'm going to have to actually close the distance and give this guy a free hit. Nothing else to do about that. And we'll slice him. <laughs> I like how my sweep attack broke the, the box. That's kind of funny. Um, I'm at 86. What are you at? 22. Okay dead. Ooh, he had a magical spear, though. This day just keeps getting better. See, like, at the beginning of a game like this, you never know how it is. You never know how, like, magical a game is going to be in terms of its loot distribution. I haven't really found too many magical things. I started with some semi-magical stuff, you know, that's, like, lightly enchanted, and some very, very weak rings, but I don't know about some of these um, items here and how strong they might be. But all I can say is I'm, I'm happy to find out. 
I'm going to eat this. And I need to make space in my inventory. I'm going to eat this. I guess, of course, I could just uh, come back later for different pieces of gear. I'm going to do this. Uh, this, I'm going to just drop this food and put this here. And then I think I can carry the spear. Oh, no, it, it goes like that. Okay. Um, I need an ID scroll. So, again, this might be a time where it's like it's a wise move to go back to the town and purchase some identification scrolls. I know that uh, Bert had at least one. His inventory might very well have shifted since the last I saw it, and then it's not on sale anymore, but seems like it's smart. Uh, I'm going to switch back to my crossbow. I'm going to reload it. I'm going to pick up all these bolts. These bodkin bolts have been money. Not in that fight against Spear Guy. Against Spear Guy, they were disastrous, but um, let's see what you got. You have some food. How's my hunger? 3%? Eat it. Heck yeah. 0%. And there's a big cabbage. You love to see a cabbage. What's in the cupboard? Uh, this is herbal extract. Uh, this is a good medicine, so I'll take that. And then let me just switch weapons. I'm going to switch to the flail for a moment. Just walk around breaking anything that I can. Seeing if there's any extra treasures for me to find. Here's a barrel. Or not. I lied about that. Oh my, critical hit. Take that. Hmm. Okay. Not finding the most stuff over here, but that's okay. Alright. And let's see. There's a chest in the nightstand. I will switch back to my sword. And I'm going to pull out my crossbow and walk over here. I saw a question mark down here. I know there's something down there. Oh, there's a closed door. That's at least nice. Might as well search for traps. Haven't done that in a while. It's locked. And here's some caltrops. These are actually supposed to be really good. So you drop these down and... Um... They ignore 90% of armor, and they can apply confusion. So these might be good for, like, securing your escape, if that's an issue. So I guess I can take those. I'm going to try to use my lockpicks on this. I opened it. And whoa! Whoa! Unidentified boots. Man. Unbelievable. So, again, this is something I don't know about the game. And I'm trying to learn. But, as Nick Man pointed out, it has this Diablo feel to the inventory and some aspects of the game. These boots are green. Like, unidentified boots is displayed in green. This spear is purple. Okay? And this... I'm sorry, blue... And then this thing is uh, not magical. It just sells for a lot. But this ring is blue. So I don't know if it's like rarity where like green is like, you know, lowest tier of rarity. Blue is better. Purple is even better than that. And then if there's like an orange, you know, I don't know how the, the loot gradation works. But whatever, I'm happy to get it. And I'll take this money, put it in my bag. And what is this? This is Stardust. This looks like Skooma. 25% magic power, cooldown. Oh, this is actually really, really good. You get a bonus range. It gives you a little bit of a sanity, like, deduction, but it's 0.05%. That's not massive. It does intoxicate you, and it reduces pain significantly oh but right up here it boot, it drains your sanity by 5% okay so there's that alright that's pretty cool alright I definitely want both of these things so I need to figure out how to accommodate these items like which things do I want to keep what do I want to drop 
I also have this unidentified potion here. I think a crust of bread. It only sells for 10 gold. I can probably get rid of for the time being. I can come back and eat it. I'm not hungry at the moment. But I can just put these shoes here. And then the skooma sells really well, if nothing else. So I could probably just get rid of some garbage that doesn't sell that well. Like these extra... Well, those actually sell okay. Hmm... This doesn't sell very well. Let's just let's just be honest. All right. So there's a lot of stuff I still want to do here, but I can't carry anything else. I'm going to leave. The only consequence with me leaving is that um, I only have two days left to complete this quest. So that that is a factor, but I think I have plenty of time to go back to town, offload this stuff, and try to get some identification scrolls going. There's a way down right there that I could go to. And there's even more uh, in the lower left of the map. But I'm fine doing this. I don't think there's fast travel at all in this game that I have seen. But I'm just going to kind of uh, click way over here. And head back home. Even if I can't sell the stuff, I can put it in the chest at the inn, I believe, to keep it safe. For when identification scrolls are either on sale, or there might be a skill that you can pick up that's like an adventuring skill. I'm going to open up the uh, ability trees and look in utility and see if there's anything like... Um, about identifying stuff. There is backstab, and there's some other basic skills, but these all appear to be locked. Um, survival would give you make a halt, skinning. Skinning is good if you um, fight animals. You can carve the carcass to get the pelt and make extra cash, I think. Cauterize wounds also stops bleeding, so that's good for s surviving. Um, Adaptability, Pathfinder, First Aid. These all look really, really good. Man, all of these skills look super helpful. Um, I can't even click on those at the moment. Okay. I want like a thousand of these abilities. Alright, I am on the map up here. So I'm just going to head back home. I'm going to be careful about it. Because I could still get waylaid by enemies. If I see wolves, we are running. Wolves have ended me more times than... Well, only like twice, but I haven't played the game very much. They're, they're very difficult. Maybe they are a little bit easier now that my character is somewhat stronger, but I'm not trying to tempt fate right now. I'm going to move straight down. I'm also going to see if I can buy a shovel. I wonder if there's ever anything you can do to expand your inventory size in this game. Because I gotta tell you, um, this bag is quite small. It's realistic, but, I mean... I'd like bigger backpack, if I could. Okay, we're going to move down here, and we're going to go into the town proper, and we made it. Alright, so I think you're safe once you're in Osbrook here. Now, the only thing that might be a deterrent is, I'm, depending on the time of day, people might be sleeping. Now, it looks like everybody's awake, or some people are awake. Let's go into the town center and see who is free. And not everybody... Oh, no, here we go. All right, so let me see what I need identified. I need this spear identified. Can you actually, like... Let me see if he can identify it. You know? Like, nah, he can't. 